Yeah, so to take enough moisture out of a piece of this ebony, because ebony is so dense, they use ebony a lot in also in uh, guitar necks. That's why it's so expensive to get a fret job if you have an ebony fingerboard, fingerboard because it's so it's a hard material to work with. They might have to dry this a, a month in the kiln, slow dry? Uh, a couple of weeks, and then we got to acclimate in here for probably close to a month. Wow, one piece of wood, that's amazing. But look at that. Well, All right, see you later, guys. Gotta no, go. How, how do you know when it's ready? I mean, there, is it um, from years' experience? You know, or? We really have it down to a science, I yeah. would say. I mean, lots of trial and error okay. over the years and making sure things yeah. work out. We so. use moisture meters, too. Yeah, I was going to say to use a meter. Or yeah, a we'll, we'll, or yeah, we'll take a little a moisture meter, stick it in the wood, make sure that it's, uh, that it's down to the right uh, moisture content. And right then on. once it is, we'll pull it out, bring it in here, and allow it, allow it to acclimate. Are these T5s here? These are going to be those T5s? are um, electric bodies. So those are your solid bodies? Correct. Going to be these. Mahogany. Or T5? Is that? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a solid yeah. Yeah. It's chambered out like that. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Is that mahogany? Or cherry? That is, uh, that is mahogany. Mahogany. What do you have, maple here? Uh, that's ash. This is ash? This is white one? Correct. Swamp ash. Correct. This is swamp ash. This is the pickup cavity and where the controls are going. of guitars to clearances of one one thousandth of an inch. Unbelievably accurate that they can do with this machine. And Bob Taylor was a pretty much a pioneer and an innovator to using this technology to make a machine. And right now you're gonna see, look at this, it's actually cutting. If you could see that laser there cutting is that the back of a guitar it looks like that, that, that's a guitar back and look at this how this laser just zaps this wood. Can gonna... he put his finger in there? <laughs> yeah, right. Can Tal put his finger in there? <laughs> no. Look at that. That's fresh. That's fresh. This is still Freshly warm. Freshly lasered. Freshly lasered guitar back. Right there. One one thousandth of an inch. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. It smells like some more. Yeah, smores? yeah I like the smell of that. Yeah. <laughs> really? oh, I can smell it, yeah. It, smells Here. Like it does <laughs> smell like that. <laughs> yeah, it does. It smells like beach bonfires. Wow, this the crowd, freshly, though. freshly freshly cut smells a little bit like s'mores. Take a bite of that. No. Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know. Wait a second. One one thousand of an inch. Let me check. All right, this is good. Yep. This it's is point nine nine nine. We're okay. I'm Thank you. Thank you. Are we live? Yeah. Here you have various different parts that go into the making of both the, the Taylor acoustics and uh, electrics and solid bodies. And here you have like pickup mounting blocks. And this is all the rough wood that looks like it's just been cut. Pin plates, bridge pads, extension plates. Um, actually looks like this, was this is, this is called taub in a candy store yeah the guitar amazing. factory look at this. unbelievable uh i could spend here they're gonna tell us we have to leave at midnight i know we having dinner tonight is, 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 does this come with dinner look at this wood this is unbelievable look how beautiful this is just amazing here's a probably the most next to the laser cutting machine the cnc the most technologically advanced piece of machinery here. Oh, okay. Right here. Look at ah. this. The rubber band. Yep. Very, you can't run a business. Very. A multi million what kind dollar of tolerances dollar. they can get with this, Tim? Maybe less than a thousand. Uh, poke your eye out either way. Yeah. We're going to go over this way. 
You know, here's a lot of the different, uh, more different types of wood, and the, the woods uh, of the guitar is what gives the, each guitar its own mood. Some woods are dense, some woods are going to sound more bright, like, a, uh, like on the top of a guitar, like spruce, which will give you a real bright and cutting sound, as opposed to if a top of a guitar is made of cedar, which is a softer wood, gives you a mellower sound. And look at all these different types. Here's the Brazilian rosewood again, and again, we can't touch any of these because uh, obviously there's oils on your hands, and you don't want to get any different mahogany, different types of mahogany, mahogany with a flame. You have Brazilian rosewood, Indian rosewood, that's used a lot. Uh, and that's probably the most common material used for um, uh, uh, back and sides of guitar, Indian rosewood, like a Sitka spruce top. Here's some flame maple, um, myrtle wood, which I am not sure what that is, but it certainly looks cool. There's some koa. Koa, uh, that's a wood that comes from uh, Hawaii. Walnut, which is very pretty. Um, just again, they have every type of wood imaginable that you would want to use or could use or that they're innovating for use in the making of their guitar line. What's the deal? Is that break in case of emergency? Oh, if someone starts you. getting the I shiver. Want to tell you guys a story oh, here about we got a story on this one. Oh, okay. Hold That's on. break in case of emergency. Because every department at Taylor Guitars is responsible for a different component of a guitar or even admin. Each department here has a guitar in it to look at, to pick up and wow. play, to have a good time with. Oh, it, it reminds us of the history and all of our passion for music and quality guitars. So, I think see, they should do that in every office, whether they make guitars well, or not. See, next level guitar, that's one of the things when we're training, you know, telling people is keep a guitar handy. You buy it Absolutely. in your living room, keep it out. Don't buy put it guitar. in your case. Right. It is not uncommon. You don't forget what you're doing. Exactly. And it's not uncommon. Mm -hmm uncommon on break times to actually see people just pick up a guitar out. and jamming out. So. Laser, this, this is a laser is department. Laser department. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cool. So you'll see lots of guitars along the way. Um, there will be some guitars up on walls that we can't pick up and play after right. they're there for a specific purpose. So. Are we going into the inlays? Doing all the fine inlay work, like look at the inlays they're getting around the sound holes. A lot of precision work is done here. Look at the backs of those flame guitars. Again, you can see around the center holes, around the center of the inlay work that's being done. There's a good shot right here you can get. Look at this beautiful inlay work right here around the center. That's gorgeous. Thank you guys. Thank you. Machine. I think that's the Terminator. Yeah. The Terminator top. So I'm actually going to show you guys one in the next room. Oh, cool. So, yeah. I'm just awesome. randomly shooting stuff, so don't follow me. Mahogany. Uh, here I'll see. I have a 